Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Dion Duel commentary. So this is game three of the Burning Abyss mirror match. So they all, both of them used their back rows to their advantage and uh, pretty much won up their opponent until they won, both of them. That's literally what happened. So uh, I guess we're going to go ahead and go on to game three. So I guess this gives me a little bit of information for my regionals, you know, seeing Burning Abyss decks. And like I said, so far from what I've seen, I've just seen an, a butt ton of back row. And, uh really no bite, you know, no one's been really able to summon out anything that strong, we saw Dante once, you know, and I guess that's plenty, but, you know, I was hoping to see Dante a lot more, but no one can get out Dante, with all the Vanny's Emptiness, uh, Artifact Sanctums, and uh, Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, it's just really difficult to, and Regeki Breaks, and Karma Cuts, and Compulses, and, and Solemn Warnings, and, you know, it's just really difficult to, uh, actually summon something in this duel, so just one up your opponent, that's pretty much it. It's, that's how you do it. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of artifacts. I actually have the artifact engine, I have Sanctums, I have Moral Tox, I just I personally don't like it just because I don't like the the fact that you can dead draw and my luck I do dead draw a lot. You know, I actually ran it in my uh, Constellar deck for a little while and uh I literally drew into like, uh, I think there was one duel I drew into Triple Moral Attack, then the Sanctums, and I never drew into a Sombre in the entire duel. It was just ridiculous. And I was just like, I hate this. Like, literally all the time. Like, my, I, I let my friend use the engine, and he always draws in a Sanctum. Like, almost always, all of his opening hands, he always has a Sanctum. At least one. While me, on the other hand, I just fucking uh, bitch and confusion and punch myself off the arena with Little Mac again. Although, I keep doing that. It's always the KO punch, where you get the KO punch and you want to run up and, like, punch your opponent with it real quick before they can respond, and then, you know, you're still running, and then you side B, and you just, off the edge you go. <sighs> There's two bitch nigga fingers that always happen in this game. Either you side B yourself off the stage with Little Mac, or you miss, uh, uh, the whole going up thing. Uh, the up B with Greninja. Those are the two major bitch nigga fingers in this game. Still a fun game, though. I mean, like I said, it's smashing your pocket. Definitely gonna be taking my uh, 3DS down to regionals because you know there might be times where I'm not even playing Yu-Gi-Oh, and I might want to just you know play Smash, especially with my friends coming with me. You know, I love playing Smash with my friends. Like we can just sit there for hours just playing. There's so many characters and so many different combinations, and it's just so fun. You know, sometimes we'll just have a bitch fight, and you know, we'll all play as girls, and that's fun. And then it's just a ton of fun. This game is a ton of fun. If you don't have it, then yeah. As you can see, a ton of back rows popping out, completely hindering his opponent's plays. The mind crush, the the chain disappearances, they're just the uh, just the sheer amount of just locking him down. It's just immense. So, you know, that might actually be what uh, wins in this duel here, is just the sheer amount of uh, uh, just counters to his plays, and that's what that's mostly what you go is. That's the reason why we have side decks to counter your opponent's plays. You know, think about how different Yu-Gi-Oh would be if there was no side deck. Think about that, you know. There would be so many different kinds, especially in a non-tier 1 format. There would be so many different types of decks that you wouldn't even know what the hell to side. You know, your best choice would be to run a non-darker non light deck and then just side in the light and shadowing mirrors because, well, no, there is no side. Like I said, there's no side, so that would be a difficult one you'd have to just have a really well-rounded deck i know i would definitely definitely go this the royal decree route definitely because you know, that at that point everybody in the mother would just run a ass ton of back row i wonder what would be the top deck probably probably shadals like i said burning abyss don't really have any bite without any back row so so it probably wouldn't be them so like i could say it would probably be shadals for right now. Without any back without any side deck, I could definitely see Cleepot doing doing a lot better than they might do because they lose to the side game really easily. Oh I ran right into that. I tried to stop from running. I'm sorry, I'm playing Smash still. And I like I said I'm still commentating. Like I said there's not much happening. You know, he summoned the two of Burning Abyss. Of course Vanity's emptiness is on a field with twenty four Ryza. I mean you know, unless he gets some kind of back row to handle that, that might just be it. Yeah. 
Of course, he can probably stall out and stall out for a little longer since, you know, his monsters still get their effects while in the grave. But, uh, it's going to be a difficult one. Definitely is. Yep, so, will this be a short one? Will this duel be over really quickly? Oh, fuck, I missed my KO punch. Got my fucking uh, straight, though. That straight kills. Like, if you if you played Smash, if you played Smash with 3S and you played Little Mac, that forward, hey, that thing kills. Like I said, that might be it. Like I said, I'm hoping that the other guy has some back row, because without any back row, there's no bite. There's there's no intimidation. There's no nothing. Damn. It's literally just vanity's emptiness locking it down. That back row just might be the, the saving grace, I hope. If not, that's game. That'd be a short one, too. Yep, GG, that's it. Oh wow, it was Randy's emptiness. <sighs> kind of sucks when it's on the shoes on the other foot. That's it. Alright. Well, there you go. There's your Burning Abyss mirror match finale. So, uh, let's go ahead and get another duel in. Probably a single, since I had to do other things to prepare for going to original. So, let's probably go ahead and find one single uh, and see how long that duel goes on for. And, uh, and this DM duel commentary. So, uh, be right back. Alright, we're back with another duel. So, we have Silence here with 1036 and Wind Up 10 with 1236. So, Tanky, I did not see what he searched. I came in a little bit too late. Okay, so it's Fire Fist or something related to Fire Fist. Tanky searched for something. I'm not sure if he searched for the gorilla or drew into the gorilla, but Fire Fist. Uh, Said a monster. I'm not sure what this monster is, but he said it. Alright, Gorilla is gonna throw the table and chain the ignition. Okay, so you got Firefish versus Artifacts. Oh, pop that burnt skill, sit him around top. <sighs> yep. The artifact engine still going strong. Oh, he flipped up the boar. Okay, so I guess it's not plus one firefest. I guess it's actual firefest, firefest. Four axis. Wait, does four axis even play boar? I don't know. I went to a tiger, which is very, very risky. But I guess he'll still get his effect unless he has like a break disc or something. You know, that effect is the major part. The, the getting another. Uh, Five formation spell or trap, that's what you want. So I guess he's gonna go ahead and set the tanky and then uh and then uh and activate it. Oh no, Roy Q. Alright. So he he destroyed the 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 ignition, so he can't attack this turn. Yeah. Yep, so he's just gonna go ahead and then get an attack. So. I'm surprised he didn't Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't uh uh, I have to pick the Goyoku on something, but I guess he didn't want to blind Goyoku. Never really heard of that before. Blind spacing, not blind like. Oh, okay. It was still flipped though. <laughs> I have to say, he he's he still resolves. <laughs> Dude. No, no, not gonna be that anal. Hello? Dude, come on, stop being that anal. It's a misclick, dude. It's a misclick. It happens. Especially if you're on a laptop. I'm not, I don't know, that's not gonna fly up in here. Man, come down. Like, just be happy that you know it's a compulse. Like, you don't need to be so anal about it. You really want your fucking battery and microcell back in your hand? Like, no, dude, stop being so anal. Like, we're here on DN to have fun. This is a fucking game, like, shit. Yeah. No. No, and you need to stop being so anal. I wouldn't even go for that. I'd say, no. 
I'd just be happy that you accidentally misclicked it and I got the knowledge of that to know it's a compulse. That's that's a, that's 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 plenty enough for me. That's your punishment for misclicking. That I get to know what it is. Like seriously, I know. Like seriously, hello. Like seriously, like it was just a misclick. You punished. No. The punishment for misclick is the knowledge of the card. No, it was a misclick. Swear to God, I'm probably gonna pause this. Think about maybe pausing this until this is resolved, but this is stupid. Like seriously, that was a hell of a misclick. Like, I guess I no, no, no. So, uh, artifact battery man. Right, versus Fire Fist. Why does everybody gotta be so anal about everything? What? So wait, oh wait. So, 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 if he accidentally misclicks and activates this, he has to play it. But if you accidentally search the wrong monster, it's fine? Like... Why are you being such a fucking hypocrite? Like, hello? Such a hypocrite, but... Eh. What are you gonna do, right? So, battery man. Super aggressive. So, what are you gonna do? Use your effect trim and battery man and bounce the Tiger King, or what? Yeah, fuel cell, tribute, bounce. Hmm. Hmm. This effect still goes off. Oh, but you you want to do that so he won't have two or more battery mail in the field, so he can't compulse it. I mean, so he can't do that. Anymore, I guess. Wasn't the best of plays, but I guess it technically wasn't the worst of plays. But I mean, it's not like you can like compulse one of his XC monsters and make him neg. So it's probably one of the best plays he could have done with compulse against this deck. So not completely terrible. And of course, if you would have done it. If he would have compulsed them uh, when he was summoned, then he could have just summoned it again, like, you know, compulsing a uh, a light pulsar. I mean, a light pulsar, a uh, judgment dragon. Why am I thinking about a light pulsar? A judgment dragon, so. I guess that was the, the correct move to use compulse. Wasn't wasn't bad, wasn't bad, no complaints. Alright, so he's gonna go ahead and Goyoku uh, that face down card. So I'm guessing it is just Fire Fist or Axis and all, so. Bitch ass Samus. Stop. Oh, get uppercut in. It's not gonna kill you though. Yeah. It's actually funny if your if your opponent on Smash is at low percentage, they don't die to the uppercut, the, the KO uppercut. So I technically didn't even KO her. Give her a nice chunk of damage, it's like fifty percent. Very nice, but didn't KO her. Alright. Go ahead and uh, pot and grab yourself a bear. Breakthrough skill and. Uh... Oh, sorry, so. What do you mean, GGI1? What the fuck? I guess he's about to go off with his uh, OTK, I guess. He's like, GGI1. Like, that's very conceited. Uh, very, very conceited. Yeah, this card wouldn't summon this ridiculous. Like, what they did the show on purpose. Nothing wrong with Batman being half decent. You know, at least they're not, not the whole AAA OTK anymore. They actually do stuff. Yep. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep, and I got to throw a monster in one too. 
Yeah, that's it. That's it. He had it. Kicked his ass. <laughs> right, what are we at? Like 15 minutes? You know, I'm gonna go ahead and call it episode. Short one, but hey, you know, I got other things to do. I gotta prepare for regionals. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. Dion, don't commentary. Like I said, I apologize for, uh, you know, being by myself, but that guy named Announcer, like, hello. Did he announce anything in the comment? No, he didn't even know. I thought he didn't say something in the watcher ship. Nope. Uh, so, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call the episode. Like I said, I apologize for it being only me, but, you know, no one else is on at the time, and I, of course, had to do this to bring you guys the content that you guys want. So, uh, I hope that it was still enjoyable. Interesting duels, interesting duels. So, um, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next weekend with some more DM Duel commentary. Hopefully, someone will be able to join me, and I won't be too busy to not be able to record on Friday. And then, of course, Saturday and Sunday, so just super busy. Anyway, thanks for watching.